I proposed the idea of an open marriage to my wife, but now I regret it as she has developed strong feelings for her new partner. I am now pleading with her to return to a monogamous relationship with me. In the dim light of their suburban living room, Logan watched as Layla flicked through a magazine, her face illuminated by the soft glow of the table lamp. It had been like this for months, quiet evenings, filled more with silence than conversation. The familiarity of their routine was comforting, but to Logan, it also felt like a silent alarm, signaling a passion that had dimmed. Hey, Layla, Logan started, his voice breaking the silence. She looked up, her brown eyes meeting his with a mixture of curiosity and mild concern. I've been thinking, maybe we need something to, spice things up. You know, in our marriage. Layla's eyebrows rose slightly, spice things up. How do you mean? He took a deep breath, the words he'd rehearsed in his mind suddenly feeling heavier on his tongue. What about an open marriage? It might bring back some excitement, a sense of adventure. Layla set her magazine down, her expression a complex tapestry of surprise and contemplation. An open marriage, she repeated, as if tasting the words for the first time. Isn't that a bit extreme? Logan hastened to explain, it's just. I think we're in a rut. We love each other, yes, but don't you feel like we're missing something? Some, passion. Layla looked away, her gaze settling on the framed photograph from their honeymoon in Bali. The memory of that time, so full of love and promise, seemed to hang in the air between them. I just don't know, Logan. It's a big step. And what if it changes things between us? But that's the point, isn't it? To change things for the better, Logan insisted, reaching for her hand. We set rules, boundaries. It doesn't change how we feel about each other. It's just, exploring. Layla's hand remained in his, her thoughts visibly churning. And you think this will make us happier? There was a hint of skepticism in her voice, yet also a trace of curiosity. I do, Logan said with a confidence he didn't fully feel. It's worth a try, isn't it? To find that spark again. The conversation lingered into the night, with Logan gently nudging and Layla cautiously considering. They discussed hypotheticals and boundaries, their words treading a delicate dance around fears and uncertainties. Finally, as the clock neared midnight, Layla nodded slowly, her voice soft but resolute. Okay, we can try it. But we have to promise each other, this won't change us. We're still us. Logan felt a surge of excitement, mixed with an unspoken apprehension. He squeezed her hand, a silent vow in the gesture. Of course. We're always us. As they went to bed that night, Logan couldn't shake a nagging sensation, like a tiny crack had formed in something once whole. He pushed the thought away, focusing instead on the thrill of the unknown. This was a new beginning, he told himself. A journey to rediscover the passion they once had. But as Layla drifted to sleep beside him, her breathing soft and even, Logan lay awake, the weight of their decision pressing down on him in the stillness of the night. The weeks that followed Logan's proposal were a whirlwind of emotions and new experiences. Both he and Layla ventured into their agreed-upon open marriage with cautious optimism. Logan threw himself into this new arrangement with an enthusiasm that was at once exhilarating and unsettling. Layla, more reserved at first, slowly began to embrace the change. Logan met people, went on dates, but these encounters felt fleeting and superficial. He was chasing a thrill, but each encounter left him feeling more hollow than the last. The conversations were pleasant, the excitement palpable, but as he lay in bed at night, Logan's mind invariably drifted back to Layla. Layla's journey was markedly different. After several hesitant coffee dates, she met Nathan. He was an artist, his life a stark contrast to the structured routine she shared with Logan. Nathan was passionate about his work, and his zeal for life was infectious. Layla found herself drawn to him, his world so different from the one she knew. Their connection was undeniable. Layla, who had always been more introverted, found in Nathan someone who listened intently, 
who made her laugh and think in ways she hadn't in years. Their conversations meandered through topics of art, life, and dreams, a stark contrast to the pragmatic discussions she had with Logan. Logan noticed the change in Layla. She seemed more alive, her eyes holding a spark that had been missing. At first, he was happy for her, this was what he had wanted, wasn't it? To bring back that spark. But as Layla spent more evenings out with Nathan, a sinking feeling began to take root in Logan's heart. One evening, as Logan sat alone in their living room, he tried to recall the last time Layla had looked at him the way she now spoke of Nathan. He missed the way her eyes lit up in laughter at his jokes, how she'd lean in close to share a secret. Now, their conversations were perfunctory, logistical, discussing who would be out when, and what plans they had made with others. As he flipped through the channels on the television, the noise failed to drown out the silence of the house. Logan's mind wandered to Layla, imagining her with Nathan, laughing, sharing moments that used to be theirs. He felt a pang of jealousy, an emotion he hadn't anticipated in this arrangement. One night, Layla returned home later than usual. Her cheeks were flushed, and there was a lightness in her step that Logan hadn't seen in a long time. She shared stories about her evening with Nathan, her voice animated and eyes bright. Logan listened, a tight smile on his face, his heart sinking with every word. The realization hit Logan hard and unexpectedly. The open marriage, which he had thought would rekindle their passion, was pushing them further apart. Layla, who he had feared losing to routine and familiarity, was now drifting away, caught up in a world he had encouraged her to explore. As he lay in bed that night, Logan turned towards Layla, watching her sleep peacefully. He wondered if she too felt the growing chasm between them or if she was simply lost in the newfound excitement that Nathan brought into her life. Logan closed his eyes, the unease in his heart growing stronger. What had started as an adventure was quickly turning into a journey of unexpected revelations and deepening regret. Months passed, and the dynamics of Logan and Layla's relationship continued to evolve, each day stretching the gap between them a little further. Logan, who had initiated the open marriage, found himself retreating from it. The novelty of new encounters had quickly worn off, leaving him feeling empty and increasingly isolated. Layla, on the other hand, was thriving. Her relationship with Nathan had deepened, becoming something far more significant than she had ever anticipated. They shared interests, passions, and a level of understanding that Layla hadn't realized she was missing. With Nathan, she felt a sense of freedom and fulfillment that had slowly faded from her marriage. Logan noticed the changes in Layla, subtle at first, but increasingly pronounced as time went on. She was more vibrant, often lost in thought or smiling to herself. Her nights out with Nathan became more frequent, and she often spoke of him with a fondness that made Logan's heart clench. One evening, as Logan sat alone in their living room, he reflected on the growing distance between them. The room, once filled with laughter and shared memories, now felt like a silent testament to their drifting paths Logan missed her, the real her, not just the physical presence but the emotional connection they once shared. He decided to confront Layla, hoping to bridge the widening gap between them. When she returned home that night, Logan was waiting, his expression a mixture of apprehension and hope. Layla, we need to talk, he began, his voice unsteady. Layla's smile faded as she sensed the seriousness in his tone. Logan, what's wrong? she asked, sitting down beside him. It's about, this arrangement, Logan hesitated. I feel like we're losing each other. You and Nathan, it's becoming something more, isn't it? Layla's expression softened, her eyes reflecting a mix of guilt and resolve. Logan, I. Nathan and I have grown close. Closer than I expected. But that doesn't change what we have. But it does, Layla. It does change things, Logan's voice cracked with emotion. I thought this would help us, but I feel like I'm just pushing you further away. I miss you, Layla. I miss us. Layla reached for his hand, her touch gentle. I miss us too, Logan. But with Nathan, I've found something, different. 
It's not better or worse, just different. And I can't ignore that. The conversation stretched into the night, with Logan expressing his fears and Layla sharing her feelings. It was clear that their paths were diverging, yet neither knew how to navigate this new reality. Logan proposed ending the open marriage, but Layla was torn, unable to let go of what she had found with Nathan. As they went to bed that night, the distance between them felt more profound than ever. Logan lay awake, staring at the ceiling, his mind racing with thoughts of Layla and Nathan. He realized that in his quest to rediscover passion, he had inadvertently set in motion the unraveling of the very thing he cherished most. Layla, meanwhile, lay beside him, torn between the life she had with Logan and the new world she had discovered with Nathan. The night was quiet, but their hearts were tumultuous, each lost in their own sea of emotions and uncertainties. The shift in their relationship was undeniable, and the future uncertain, as they drifted further into uncharted waters. The air in the house felt thick with unspoken words as Logan and Layla moved around each other, each caught in a whirlpool of emotions. Logan, once the advocate of this new arrangement, was now grappling with a profound sense of loss and desperation. Layla, increasingly distant, was torn between her loyalty to Logan and her deepening feelings for Nathan. One chilly evening, Logan couldn't bear the silence and the growing chasm between them any longer. He had to confront the situation, to fight for what was slipping away. He waited for Layla in the living room, his heart pounding with a mix of fear and resolve. When Layla walked in, she sensed immediately that something was amiss. Logan's posture, rigid and expectant, spoke volumes. She sat down, bracing herself for the conversation she knew was coming. Logan, what's on your mind? Layla asked, her voice a cautious whisper. Us, Logan said bluntly. This isn't working, Layla. I can't keep pretending that everything is fine when it's not. I feel like I'm losing you to Nathan, and it's tearing me apart. Layla's eyes met his, filled with a sorrow that mirrored his own. Logan, I... I didn't expect things to turn out this way. With Nathan, I found something I didn't even realize I was looking for. But that doesn't mean I don't care about you. But do you still love me, Layla? Or have I lost you already? Logan's voice broke, revealing the depth of his pain. Layla hesitated, her heart aching at the sight of his anguish. I do love you, Logan. But my feelings for Nathan, they're different. Strong in a way I can't ignore. Logan's face crumpled, his worst fears confirmed. He stood up, pacing the room, his mind racing. Then let's end this open marriage. Let's go back to how things were. We can fix this, Layla. We can try. Layla watched him, torn between the life she had built with Logan and the new path unfolding before her with Nathan. Logan, I'm not sure if we can just go back. Things have changed, I've changed. I can't just turn off my feelings for Nathan. But I thought this was just about exploring, about finding some excitement, Logan said, his voice tinged with desperation. I never thought I'd lose you in the process. I didn't either, Logan. But we can't undo what's happened. We can't unfeel what we feel, Layla replied, her voice trembling. The conversation stretched on, with Logan pleading and Layla struggling to articulate her torn emotions. In the end, they went to bed with a chasm wider than ever between them. Logan lay awake, staring at the shadows dancing on the ceiling, realizing that his attempt to rekindle their love had instead set it ablaze, burning it down to ashes. Layla, too, lay awake, her mind a battlefield. She was caught between the comfort and history she shared with Logan and the exhilarating yet frightening new love she found in Nathan. The night was long and sleepless, filled with the heavy realization that their lives were at a crossroads, with no clear path forward. The morning light filtered through the curtains, casting a soft glow on the room where Logan lay awake. The events of the previous night hung heavily in the air, a tangible reminder of the pain and confusion that had become their daily reality. He turned to look at Layla, who was still asleep, her face serene yet distant even in slumber. Logan rose quietly, 
his movements mechanical, as if in a daze. The house felt different now, every corner a reminder of a life that was slowly slipping away from him. He made coffee, the routine offering no comfort, only a stark reminder of the normalcy that was no longer theirs. When Layla finally awoke and joined him in the kitchen, the air was thick with unspoken words. She poured herself a cup of coffee, her hands trembling slightly. They sat at the table, the silence between them a chasm that seemed impossible to bridge. Logan, Layla began, her voice barely above a whisper. I've made a decision. I think it's best if, if I leave. Her words hit Logan like a physical blow. He had known, somewhere deep down, that this moment might come, but the reality of it was crushing. Leave, he echoed, his voice hollow. You mean, leave me? Layla nodded, tears brimming in her eyes. I can't keep living like this, torn between two lives. I need to be honest with myself, and with you. My feelings for Nathan, they're too strong. I can't ignore them any longer. Logan felt a surge of emotions, anger, sorrow, disbelief. But beneath it all was an overwhelming sense of loss. So, this is it, then? Our marriage, our life together, it all ends because of this, experiment. I'm so sorry, Logan, Layla said, her voice breaking. I never wanted to hurt you. This open marriage was supposed to bring us closer, but it only showed me what I was missing. I wish things were different. Logan looked at her, really looked at her, seeing not just the woman he loved but also the stranger she had become. I wish I had never suggested it, he said, the regret in his voice palpable. I thought I was saving us, but I was just pushing you away. They talked for hours, rehashing decisions, expressing regrets, and shedding tears for a love that had once seemed unbreakable. When Layla finally packed her bags, the finality of the moment was overwhelming. As Logan watched her drive away, he felt a part of himself leave with her. The house, once filled with laughter and love, now stood empty, a shell of the life they had built together. He sat down on the steps, his mind replaying the memories, the good times, and the bad, all leading to this moment of irrevocable loss. In the days that followed, Logan tried to come to terms with his new reality. The pain of Layla's absence was a constant companion, a reminder of the risk they had taken and the price they had paid. He realized that in his quest for excitement, he had lost sight of what truly mattered. But it was too late now. Layla was gone, her departure leaving a void that no one else could fill. The story of Logan and Layla ended not with anger or betrayal, but with a profound sense of regret. A tale of love lost, not to time or circumstance, but to a gamble that had gone terribly wrong. Logan was left to pick up the pieces, to find a way to move forward in a world that no longer had Layla in it. It was a bitter end, a lesson learned in the harshest way possible.